We're on the Strathbogie Tableland, um, about 15 k's southeast of Euroa in northeast Victoria. Uh, we, we manage about 700 acres here, so we own about 550 and we've got another 150 leased. We run about 700, 700 ewes, um, so we're trying to turn off eight, 900 lambs a, a year. Um, that varies depending on the seasons. This changing of the seasons, uh, that is the, that's, that's the real challenge for us. And look, there's no doubt about it. You know, the, the people who say, oh no, it's just a, just a bit of a pattern, you know, it's, it's not really climate change. I think you talk to farmers who are trying to contend with this stuff and they'll tell you it, it definitely is. The, the growing season has reduced. It used to be that you'd get an autumn break late March or into, into April um, and then you'd have good growth through and you know spring would run almost uh, into, uh, into December. Now the autumn break, although this year has been fantastic, but the autumn break is coming later, so often not until mid-May, um, and spring chops out in November. So we've worked out that we've lost about a month of green grass. Uh, when you're lambing later, um, then you, you've got less time to get the lambs up to a marketable weight before things dry off again. Our, our growing season for grass has reduced over the last few years. Um, and so our policy now is that lambs have got to be off before Christmas. Waste of time trying to, trying to fatten lambs through the summer up here. Advice, um, there's, a, there's a lot of experience up here on the tableland, people who've, who've been at it for a long time. Um, work that, that you guys and, and uh, Department of Ag have, have you know, shown a real interest in and, and helped, us, helped us with. 